All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries, and I'm glad you guys joined me today because I got something pretty special to show you. Not only am I going to show you some gear, I don't know if you guys remember, but a while back, actually, probably about a year ago now, I did a product review and a giveaway with a company that was called Cupped Waterfowl. Well, good news for you guys, those of you that have dogs. They also have a line with dog gear, and I'm going to go over that today, show you guys kind of what they got. I'm excited to show you, and also stay tuned to the end because we got something special for you guys. So, before we get started, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. All right, first off, we have a vinyl bumper, and this is the black and white bumper from Cupped. It's a little firm. Um, I know there's different kinds out there. Some are really hard, some are a little bit soft. Regardless, it's pretty well made. One thing I don't think a lot of people know that are new to dog training, I didn't know this at first myself, was the black and white bumpers are kind of some of the best that you can get because in all situations, whatever the backdrop is, if it's a blue sky, if it's a green grass field, if it's tan, they say, dog trainers say that dogs can see these the best, the black and white mix. Whether it's vertical lines or horizontal like this is, it definitely helps the dog's eyes stay in tune intact so if you're training a dog you definitely want to have some bumpers that have black and white on it this is for retrieves where you want them to see the bumper okay anyways it's got some uh, kind of raised surfaces it kind of makes it easier to stay in the dog's mouth and the grip instead of sliding or slipping they got a nice heavy rubber ball at the end just for tossing it just a lot easier to toss it a lot farther i've noticed um, that I do like that better than some I've seen some of the ones I used rock, to train Rocky with they were not This big they were just small ends and it was hard to chuck them a lot You can definitely get a lot more distance on throwing these with this kind so anyways, that's their first one That's the cupped waterfowl logo right here, and it's, this is just a vinyl dog dummy All right next up is the canvas dog dummy and for the most part a lot of bumpers are white but uh, it's got a little bit of black writing on there and it's the standard size, the larger bumper. I believe this is, would be the considered a three inch. It's got a nice feel to it. I mean, it's kind of got that soft feel. It's canvas. And one thing that's cool about these, these canvas bumpers is you can put scent in them. And this is known to hold scent very well. So if you want to kind of insert some scent into it for like blind retrieves or something like that, um, this is a great tool to use that for. And I really like it. It's well made. It's well sewn up. It doesn't look like it's going to come apart easy. Really good quality. Same thing. It's got the big rubber ball on the end. Helps you to toss it a lot farther. All right, next up is the Dog Vest Blaze Orange. And it's made out of uh, 420D polyester. It's super tough. Blaze Orange for visibility. So like if you're out there pheasant hunting, chucker hunting, quail hunting, you can always keep your eye on your dog. I mean, you could probably even use this if you're using it on the refuge to put on your dog when you're walking out in the morning. Uh, so you kind of don't lose track of them. They get off in front of you a little bit. But anyways, let's pull it out of the package here and let's take a look at this. One size fits most. So let's pull this out and take a good look at it. Hopefully I can fold it and put it back in there the way it's supposed to be. This would be over his back, I believe. And the rest of this would go down the center of his back and then you would, actually this might be what goes around the neck. I'm not sure, don't ask me guys. If I had Rocky in here, I could figure it out real quick. He's out there sunbathing right now. You know what, I'm really pretty sure this is actually up by the head. This goes around the chest and Velcro's to itself, and this would go like under the haunches, is what I'm guessing. But regardless, we all know you'd figure it out. It's a good way to keep an eye on your dog when he's running through the brush stuff and don't lose track of him. All right, next up, and this is really well made, I think you guys will really like this, is the dog vest, the neoprene dog vest. Very well made, very tough built, honestly. It's super good stitching on the seams. I like this uh, Rocky's vest that he has, if I remember right, has a, has a handle right here. I think most dog vests do, but it's just nice if you're picking them up into the boat or you're picking them up in the blind, the water's really deep and you just kind of need to give them that extra lift. I would definitely suggest getting a dog vest with a handle like this. The other thing is, like my vest has, and I like this, I really like this one, honestly. It's got the zipper underneath, so you got the Velcro, and then you got the zipper. Put the dog in it, close it up, zip it up and then put the flaps down, there you go. It's well made, honestly, it really is. I've seen some out there that are pretty flimsy and thin. This has got some nice thickness, definitely is gonna keep your dog warm. And uh, I guess these sell for normally 50 bucks on their website, 49.99 MSRP. So really nice, good color. All right, next thing I'm gonna show you guys, and I'm, I have not opened this yet, so I'm excited to see what this looks like all the way popped out, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the Cupped Waterfowl Dog Blind. I'm thinking well i don't know let's not even guess let's just so it's the real tree timber pattern 
Easy setup, easy takedown. It's lightweight, low profile. Straps for brushing and stubble, which is great. Shoulder straps, okay. That is something I have not seen on mine that I have of Tangle Freeze. And then front and back entrance, which is typical. So let's, let's pop this bad boy open. Just bought a pocket knife and I already lost it in like two weeks. <sighs> Even though I got 30 of them. 30 more of them laying around here. Just trying to do this with my hands here. Alrighty. <laughs> now that's solid already. Trying to do big things in little spaces. All right, so I can fill the metal bars in there. So it goes from one cross arm to the next to keep it together. So there you go, you got your carrying strap, which is nice. My other one doesn't have that. Let's open this up. Okay, okay. I see what's going on. This doesn't look like one to me that's meant to, um, it doesn't have legs. There's little levers that all you do is just push them down. So actually it's a lot more simple than I was making it. Hold on a second here. I need a light. Kind of hard to see when I'm doing it in the pitch dark. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. So inside, there is a tan bar pipe that's bigger than the two black ones. And to lock it in, you've got to stretch this out, line them up, and then slide it over the other arm. And that locks it in place. That's actually a pretty slick idea, actually. There we go. You know what, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're going inside the blind. All right, see that? Those are two separate poles, that left one and then that one in the back over here, in the back right. That little tan dill is a tube that's bigger than the two black ones and it slides over the two so you gotta stretch it out. So there's, see there's a bracket there that I'm gonna push down and lock in place now. There, see that's locked now. And then you got that on all four corners of this dog blind. So anyways, I was just trying to show you guys on the inside of this. So it has that on either side, but it has a little port that you can unzip and get easier access. But I think it was easy just getting it from the front and back. But it's got the front and back openings. And then of course the Velcro here will stick. So just take that and fold it over just like most dog stands. But I like this. It's super solid and durable thick material on the inside this is solid guys for reals i haven't seen one this stout and i would say it's just a skosh longer than the ones i've had or seen um which is better because i want the whole length of the dog inside it i don't want nothing sticking out i mean it's okay if his tail their tail sticking out but other than that i mean this is this is really well made and now this is all tied up top because that's I finally did that right and then it's got all these loops on the top, the sides, the front, and the back to where you can put stubble or grasses or toolies or whatever you're gonna use. This I like this, this is nice. This is well built. On all four corners, it has a stake. If you can see right here, it has a stake on all four corners that you can stake this dog stand down with. So it doesn't go anywhere. I like that. It's connected so you can't lose it And then it's got a little slot on the bottom for you to slide it back into. Yeah, I like that a lot That's that was a good idea This is nice. So I'm gonna pop these legs out and take it back down That's actually pretty slick and easy and that's the profile of it folded back down very very easy and very very durable I like that a lot well made so that's the dog blind, the cup waterfall dog blind. Takes down in just what, you see that, about 10 seconds. So there you have it guys, that's all the gear. And to top it off, the good news is, we're gonna be giving it away to you guys. So, same thing as last time, go down the link in the description below, there'll be a link there. First one on the top, I'll make sure I make it very obvious what it is. You guys click on that and then it gives you all the details for this giveaway. So any of you guys or gals out there that have a dog, you don't have the gear or you're thinking about getting a duck dog, this is going to be perfect for you. Go in there, enter into this giveaway and we'll be sending that out to you as soon as we pick a winner. We'll be running this for a week or two. Um, just keep your eyes peeled. Once you enter, you don't have to worry about coming back and checking on this video. This video is not going to have the information for you. This is just for you to enter. You will be contacted and we will let you know that you are the winner. 
Give this video a thumbs up, guys, if you like this product. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the next one.